what would your words of wisdom be around brand just generally for founders and entrepreneurs? The best book on branding I've ever read is by Al Rees, R-I-E-S, uh, The 22 Immutable Laws of Branding. Now, it's an older book, but it is just phenomenal every time I've gone back to that and I followed the so-called laws. So I built my brands based on that book. I think that you know a, a brand creates a feeling and creates emotion. Be really careful and intentional with what feeling you're trying to create. So I'll give you a story. With Wow One Day Painting, we paint people's homes in a day. When we go into someone's home, our initial color, so I bought the company, it was called One Day Painting. They came in and did my home and I was so wowed that we bought it and rebranded it as Wow One Day Painting. And the colors that One Day Painting was, was this orange and this kind of uh, blue. Took those colors and said, okay, that's what we're gonna just rebrand and it's gonna look very similar. We put everyone in bright orange shirts, wow, one day painting and the whole bit. And a customer, a friend customer said to me, Brian, if you're trying to build trust when you have your painters all flash mob paint a home, don't send people in that are wearing penitentiary orange as a color. (laughs) I mean, it just hit me as because we were having trouble growing. We were having trouble attracting franchise owners. And it was a struggle for a couple of years. And I was immediately like, that's one of the biggest problems. We had the right name. We had the wrong colors. We had the wrong logo and look and feel. We've literally had dozens of franchise partners for Wow One Day Painting that have gotten in because they looked at the logo and it spoke to them. It's a smiley little, you know, someone has to Google it and see it. But the logo spoke to them. And I'm like, that's a brand. And and here's one more story, actually, and it's still Wow One Day Painting related. But to follow that vein... When I was about to buy the company, I went to a guy, James Alish, who's still in our business today. He wasn't at the time. And I said, you come from College Pro Painters. You've got so much painting experience. I'm looking at buying this company one day painting. What do you think? And he looked at it and we talked about it. And he goes, no way. He goes, you're freaking nuts. This will never work. Here's a guy with a ton of experience, leadership, painting, franchising. And I thought about what he said. And I said, I'm going to do it anyways. And I went and did it. Now, he wasn't with the business at the time. He came back to run our business after he saw the rebranded logo that I gave him. I said, I want to get your idea on the new brand we've created. What do you think? And he's like, how do I get in? And he left his business and joined ours. And I reminded him, I said, James, nothing has changed here in the model. I want to be clear. The only thing that's changed from you saying you're freaking nuts to how do I join is a logo. Now, to me, that's the power of a brand. Hmm. 